What is crack like guys? Welcome back to another episode of Marshall Outdoors. Today, as you can tell, we're on the mighty Mississippi. We've got the tin can hooked up. She is ready to be dumped in the river. It has been a long time freaking coming, let me tell you. I'm hiding behind my truck at the moment, dude. There's some freaking weirdos down here screaming at me. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it is what it is. You do what you do, and uh, don't don't mess with me. Or we're gonna have some problems. So, uh, just gearing up. Gonna dump the boat in the river. It's been a long time coming. Like I said, I haven't had the boat. Just finally got the boat back. Um, some other issues, bunch of life issues, and stuff like that. Haven't been able to do what I want to do much lately, and. Um, we're, we're coming back. We're getting back into the groove of things here and um, lots of fishing to become. I've been looking forward to coming down here since uh, since spring, since the freaking river opened, and um, get on some of them big channel cats. You know, I love that. That's my number one go-to thing to do in the summertime is fish big catfish, and that's exactly what we're here to do today. And uh, yeah, dumped us in. I just got the boat back. It was getting fixed. Um, I took it out and ran it uh, right at ice out and didn't realize the gas tank was full of water. So thought it just maybe something else happened, but no, guy said, dude, your gas tank was full of water. Pretty much messed up the carb. Had to redo the carb and uh, so he's got it all fired and running. So we're gonna dump her in, make sure it is running good. And uh, if so, we're gonna blast up to the dam. Uh, rig up some big old cut bait. Well, the biggest cut bait I could find around here at the moment and uh, see what we can do. Get some big old kitty cats on the big rods. Could bring a smaller rod, do some walleye fishing or some jigging. Who knows? We'll see. But I'm um, just excited to be back. Get up the old uh, Mississippi River. Catch us some big cats, you guys. Stay freaking tuned. As you can tell, we've got the boat. Oh man, I thought she was going to shut off again. It is like two and a half hours from the last time I talked to you. We had some boat issues. I know. I know. We just got it back. I couldn't get it freaking started. It's flooded out, gas spraying everywhere. Went home, fucked it up to a bucket, and tried running it in there, and um, found out there was a hose clamp actually that was not on there all the way, and I think it was uh, shooting gas and getting sucking air in through it. So seems like it's running at a pretty uh, low idle, which might be all right. It's actually been freaking running pretty good, so we're gonna blast up to the dam. Hope he makes it. If not. Someone will come find me because I don't have a trolling motor battery. I mean, I do, but she's not charged. So, might be a long drift back home. You guys stay freaking here. We have made it up to the section where I want to go here. And um, now we're just going to look around for a minute, do some graphing, some stuff like that, and um, see where these cats are sitting. Um, a lot of times, it just literally varies from uh, what the current's doing, what time of year it is. Sometimes they're on the shelf or in the deep hole, but I'm guessing how early in the year it is, how high the water is. I don't know, I would assume they're gonna be up on this freaking deck, right on the top of the deck would be my guess. There's no current seams on this side of it. There's usually a big current seam right here, but there's definitely not. Okay, where's the top, the tip top of it here, right on the spine? Looks like we're seeing a couple right on top. There's definitely a few sitting up on top of it. Yup, 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 yup. Okay, drop off the edge of it really fast. Don't see any on the down slope. Sometimes they're just halfway up it too, stuck right on the down slope of it there. There's a couple. A couple on the down slope. Check the inside of the deep hole here. There's a couple right at the bottom too. The river flattens out, looks like. Couple here, couple there, couple there, couple here. Yeah, there's a couple there. I think we're gonna try up here first. It's a really big current seam right here that these fish do like. 
and it'll be easier for me to stay in the current or anchor up up here the current's not too crazy on this edge oh that's gonna be so snaggy though i'm gonna lose some lines i am gonna lose some freaking gear here we're gonna give it a shot see what happens all right so cut suckers is the name of the game for sure in the springtime current is just absolutely ridiculously weird up here right now it's been just throwing me around in circles already but um yeah big heavy rod four ounce weight fishing pretty fast freaking current here heavy line big hooks and uh we're gonna fish some of these current seams here start with this current seam we don't have much line which is just absolutely sick just sick you know but um yeah hit a couple of these current seams up catfish love water that's just going straight over the top of them like that they don't want to be like out in that crazy turbulent stuff they will but a lot of times they don't want to be they call that the old uh washing machine they don't like a washing machine. They like steady current flow over the top of them so they can just watch bait, stuff coming down the river. Pick it up as it goes. But um, yeah, we're gonna start here, see what happens. Sometimes it takes a while just to move around and see where they're sitting. But once you find them, usually there's, uh, there's an abundance of them, usually, so. Waiting for that big cat bite. Rip the rod right out of your hand type deal with these suckers. And it looks like it's gonna rain. <laughs> nice. That's just cute. We don't have much time. We're supposed to be somewhere like 20 minutes ago. We only had a few hours. The first time the boat died. That thing hit and run me? Take the bait? No, no, he didn't. Definitely popped it. I'm gonna get her out there. Get her out in that current seam a little bit. Oh, it's so nasty, rocky out there though. It's not good. I think we got one. I think we got one. Took a while. That's a cat. That's a cat. Good one, too. Is a strong. I actually got this one where I was not expecting them to be sitting, but uh, that's where he was. Hey, 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 watch the anchor rope there, champ. Got you right in the bottom of the old Lipsky. There's your tail. There's your tail. Heck yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's a big cat. That's a good one. All right. Cat number one of the day. That's a freaking good one. I'll take that. It's big girl season. All right. So just maybe. Just maybe oh dang still got the sucker head on there we could probably try him again we could probably try the sucker head again just maybe found where they're sitting it was not where i was expecting it to be
Oh. Shit. Oh, this one feels big. This one might need a net. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. 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 cracking but the rod or the reel this one's huger what the hell oh yeah dude that's a big one man that is a big one should we get the net and just make this a lot easier on ourselves That's a freaking good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's that hawk right there? <sighs> Hang on. Oh, dude, that's a freaking slob. <laughs> yes, dude. That's a, that's a good one there. Oh, show. Sure. Got a bloody lip there. That's all right. He'll be fine. Catfish are just like, uh, like you and I. Poking the lip and there's a lot of blood, but trust me, doesn't doesn't hurt them. I don't know what this is. I don't think this is a cat. It is a cat. Just a baby cat. Holy, it's settled down, champ. Jesus, should I bolt flip this guy? It's one of them good ears. That'd be one of them uh, classified as one of them good eaters there. One that you just grab with one hand. Not what I'm looking for. I should put a small bait on, small soccer that time too. So, it's not the move. Hey, dude, just, I'm trying to help you out, man. You gotta help me help you. You know what I mean? There you go. That'd be a good uh, classified as a, a good eater. I was actually really convinced that that was like a walleye or something. Not a cat. But it was. Just a small one. Just a small one. Alright, well this is not good, let's just say that, I don't know where the cats went, but I cannot find them, I even caught one for a while, lost quite a few rigs in there, not happy about that, the rigs are not cheap, sick, sick, <laughs> sick, I tell you, you know, so, I think we're going to call it. I don't have much time anyway. I need to get going. But, um, we're going to hit some of these squares underneath this. Underneath this dam here. See if we can pull anything out of there. That would be nice. But, other than that. Yeah. Shit, baby. Pretty shoddy, man. 
And it's gonna be hard. Oh, 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 there's a cat. There's a cat. Floating the old, uh, floating the sock down. That one. Wow. Freaking got one. Right when it was about to be done. Yes, sir. Oh, screamers. Good one, too. It's just all wrapped up, aren't you? All wrapped up, now you're all wrapped up in my net, damn it. Yeah. Well, maybe the cats are still out there. Hmm. Hook fell out. There you have it. So there is still a few up there. Well, that's good. Maybe we'll uh, we'll give this a shot for a second here. That is uh, that's what we're looking for. Little water drops on the lens, boy. Oh. That's a cat. That's big. That's big. That's big. There we go. Is this? Oh no, it's not a cat. Oh, that's not good. I did not want to catch that. I did not want to catch that. I don't even think that's open right now. I'm not kidding. I don't think that's season's even open that's a freaking musky yeah oh just wrapped up too nice oh that's not good he's wrapped wrapped okay he's wrapped and now he's covered in foam okay we're just gonna get this guy out, get him unhooked as fast as possible. This is definitely not a fish that I wanna catch right now. So just in, in and out. Not even gonna take a look at him. All right, we're gonna try and flip some squares. I don't know how this is gonna work. We're gonna surely try. I don't know what this is, but it feels pretty big. Big ol' walleye. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice old river walleye there. Yeah. Big in. Multi-species kind of day. What is that? What is that? Oh man, whatever it is, jump hard. Big old gator. Big old gator. That's kind of sick. That's 
kind of worried that it was another muskie just because of the way he jumped. But that one's legal, folks. There you go. Wow. Little multi species kind of day. Just a little bit of a multi species kind of day up here on the river. That's what I love about this place, man. It's like a box of chocolates, man. You just never know what you're gonna get. You just never know what you're gonna get. That's it. I gotta go. I gotta go. That's gonna do it for me out here on the river today. We would have had more time, obviously, but uh, the old motor situation there in the beginning kind of took an hour and a half or so out of our time schedule. It is what it is. We got uh, we got a few cats, four cats or something. One nice walleye, one decent pike, and um, one accidental fish, um, which is a musky. I'm not saying you know I'm, I'm not here to catch those. It's not what I'm trying to do. But um, oh, I thought the motor was gonna die again. But um, yeah, we're not here to catch those. They are not in season at the moment. I think that opens up in like two weeks or something like that. But. I love the Mississippi River. I will be back. She is freaking raging right now. That is for sure with all the rain we got and um, we're getting more rain this week. Lots of it. So she's going to go up even higher. That's all right. I'll be back for the cats. Didn't really uh, figure that out too good today. Didn't have much time, but we got some fish. Good to be back in the boat and um, lots more to come. So as always, I don't know where I'll be next. Probably on the river catching something, doing something dumb. Turn them grips, rip them lips. Catch you next time.